If you've watched my last few blogs, um, they revolved around uh, strategies when representing a seller in multiple offers. Well, there's another side to this story, as we all know, and I believe that the buyer's uh, fiduciary duty or your, your fiduciary duties to the buyer are just as important if that's your sole client. So let's talk about a couple of strategies that one might employ if the selling agent or the selling realtor is in fact uh, utilizing the strategies that I've talked about. Firstly, um, the question that needs to be asked as soon as you write an offer uh, when you're uh, conversing with the listing agent is the obvious one. Are there multiple offers? You know, is my client competing at this point? Um, if the listing realtor has stated that they're not authorized to answer that question because their client has um, given them that direction, um, then there's another uh, question that you need to ask. Um, the other question would be, when is the offer going to be presented? It's kind of obvious, but it's very important at this point. I wouldn't assume that there are multiple offers because that's maybe the assumption that uh, they want you to make. But you need to know when the offer is going to be presented so that you can avoid any exchange of information before the absolute last second that it has to be exchanged. So in other words, you show up at the house or you show up at the location, wherever it is that they're presenting the offer and hand it to them at that time. The other question that needs to be asked would be, will you let me know if my client is competing? And if their answer, if the listing agent's answer to that is, uh, I'm not authorized to answer that question, then you need to take three steps back and start over with your client. That's right, go back to your buyer and ask them the question. What would you like me to instruct the listing agent to do with the offer if you're in a competitive situation? A, do you want me to just tell him that you will not compete and your offer is null and void if there's a competitive situation? Or B, do you want me to tell them that in fact, sorry about that, uh, that in fact if there is competing offers that you're willing to compete? So you can see that both of those strategies will put you in a uh, better position because now the seller has to make a decision as to whether or not they um, want to lose you or keep you because it's now their decision uh, that's going to that's gonna impact what you do. So you need to get ahead of it. So once you talk to your buyer and your buyer gives you that specific instruction, um, then you can say to the uh, listing realtor, well, since you can't, uh, you're not authorized to give me that information, then I must tell you that my client has told me to tell you whatever their decision is. A, if we're competing, uh, our offer is null and void, and, uh, and or B, if we're competing, we're more prepared to compete. You can see how both of those strategies will work at the table. If, if the buyer is willing to compete and his offer is not that great, they don't know that about the other uh, about the other offer, so they may deal with your offer even if it's lower. And conversely, if the buyer is not willing to compete, it may force them to just say, no, nope, we'll just accept their offer as it is. So, a couple of great strategies from the buyer's side. They're just as important as the seller's. Once again, make our team your team. Get a good feeling